Hi, this is Chin Rong, Market Strategies for IG Singapore. Into the second quarter, markets reconsidered their rate expectations following a run of stronger than expected US economic data last week. Escalating geopolitical tension in the Middle East also drove some near-term uncertainty with some concerns that oil prices at its five-month high may complicate the Fed's inflation fight. Ahead, focus will be on the upcoming US earnings season to validate if the earnings recovery since the second half of last year have further room to go. As usual, the US earnings parade will kickstart with the major US banks, with JP Morgan, Wells Fargo and Citigroup releasing their results on Friday. Ahead, we will also have several key economic data on our radar. First up, we have the US CPI data out on Wednesday. Despite the US CPI coming in hotter than expected since the start of the year, Fed Chair Jerome Powell reassured markets that despite some persistent in pricing pressure, the central bank expects to lower rates at some point this year. This month, the expectation is for headline CPI to rise by 0.4% month on month, which will see the annual rate climb to 3.5%. Any further persistence may likely challenge the Fed's view on inflation progress and amplify calls in high for longer rates. Next up, we have China's CPI data out on Thursday. With the turnaround in February, consumer prices attributed to a spending boom during the Lunar New Year holidays, all eyes will be on whether the surge in demand can be sustained. For March, China's consumer prices may ease slightly to 0.4% year-on-year, with lower food prices. Lastly, we have the ECB interest rate decision also out on Thursday. The ECB is expected to keep interest rate unchanged for the fourth straight meeting, but with Eurozone's inflation unexpectedly easing last month, the case for the ECB to kickstart its rate cutting cycle as early as June has been strengthened. While policymakers are unlikely to give the all clear for the inflation fight just yet, any dovish shift in tone from the March meeting or hints of discussion on rate cuts at the upcoming meeting will be on watch to further provide validation for a policy move in June. That's all for now and I will see you next week.